I'm at Gyeongbokgung, which is my favorite Samgyetang restaurant in Korea. And these guys do it a little bit different. Of course, with Samgyetang, it's your stuffed chicken soup. It's usually in a clear broth, but the thing I like about this place is they do it with a dulke broth. And it's kind of more of a porridge than a soup, but it tastes really good. So let's take a look at the samgyetang here. As you can see, it comes out more like a porridge than a broth. It's a little bit thick rather than runny. Turkey is a type of seed in Korea. If you like genip, then it's the seed that uh, turns into genip, and I love genip. So obviously I love turkey as well. The flavor on this is amazing. It comes out piping hot. And let's give this a little bit of a taste just to see if um, I need to season it as at all. Yeah, you know, probably don't really need to season it for, for the most part, but I like my things somewhat salty, so I'm gonna add a little bit of their seasoning salt here. And the seasoning salt's got some salt, pepper, some sesame seeds as well. So a variety of different um, seasonings and flavors. So let's have a taste. Oh yeah, that's, that's absolutely perfect. Let's break down this chicken now. So samgyetang is basically a whole chicken. Usually it's gonna be a small version of it. And as you can see, it's stuffed. Typically you're gonna have your ginseng root. You're gonna have your jujube, which is a dried date. Should be some garlic in here as well. And then rice. Oh, this one's also got a chestnut. Chestnut, nice. Anyways, those are all the different flavors you're gonna get in your samgyetang. And it comes with garlic as well, as some uh, peppers and some pickled radish, some cucumber and, and sauce. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll actually put my own garlic, I'll put some extra garlic in here and um, as that softens up from the heat of the broth, it adds more flavor to it as well. So we're gonna put this in here. I mean, this is piping hot. You can see the steam coming out of it. So that'll allow the garlic to cook in and let a little bit of more of the flavor out into the samgyetang. And one more thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of the seasoning salt onto this dipping dish. And that is going to be for my chicken. So they typically in samgyetang, they don't actually season the chicken, so it can be bland sometimes. So we're gonna dip that in there a little bit. I love the peppers here as well. Remember, you want to um, break off the tip because that's where all the pesticides go to because the peppers hang down. Water, pesticide drips to the end. You want to rip that off. Dip it in your gochujang. Mm. So fresh. The kakdugi is so good here too. Just the perfect amount of sweetness. So good. One of the cool things about um, Gyeongbokgung is they only serve one thing. So it's one of those places when you walk in, they ask you how many people do you have, not what do you want. And if they're alone like I am today, you get one thing. They only serve the samgyetang one way. They don't have the broth version. It's only the porridge. So literally, it's one of those people that they specialize in one dish if they don't do it well, they're gonna be out of business. So you know that they do it well. If I have one complaint about this place, it's, it's actually a franchise of places and there are several locations, but 
My one complaint is that there aren't really any in good locations in Seoul. So for the most part, they're out in Gyeonggi-do, like in Incheon. Right now, I'm actually in Kimpo, near Kimpo Airport. So getting to these can be difficult, but if you're going to Kimpo Airport, then a good place to stop by for a great meal of some good time. Here's our dried date. got a really, really strong flavor, but it's really good. Hint of sweetness, little tart, what goes great with the soup. It's like some kind of a different offsetting flavor from everything else. You know, you think that you like to eat samgyetang on a cold winter day, but ironically, Koreans like to eat this on hot summer days. There's like these three um, hot days of summer that are predetermined each year and usually on those three days in uh, August usually you'll see lineups at Samgyetang places because Koreans like to fight the heat with the heat I guess they like to say personally I think it was probably some marketing guy back in the day that said hey yeah you know Samgyetang is not just for winter have it in the summer too it's good for you and people probably listen that's just my perspective on it because otherwise it doesn't really make sense, you know. Now I know when it comes to samgyetang that the clear runny broth is certainly more mainstream, but if you've never tried the turkey porridge version, definitely check it out because it's certainly very different and I definitely prefer this. I mean, there's times that I want to have the clear broth as well. It depends, but I think overall, if I have a choice, like, this is my favorite samgyetang place in Korea. And you know, they only do it this one way. So this is definitely the style that I prefer. And if you haven't tried this version yet, don't judge it until you've tried it because it is really good. Yeah, I'll give you a little Another cool thing about this place is every time I've always asked for some more soup, or more porridge, every location that I've gone to, they've always offered that. So if you ever run out of porridge, don't be afraid to ask for more. And it's so good. Seriously, how many Samgyetang places are gonna give you more soup or broth if you ask for it? Because that's usually, you know, it just comes out in the chicken that it's with. So for them to give you this extra broth, um, I don't know that normal Samgyetang places would actually offer you that or give that to you if you ask for it. So, another thing that I really like about this place, this is how you eat here. Oh, that is so good. Wow. It's a bit of a pain in the butt getting out to one of these places because they're not in your major parts of Seoul, but if you do get an opportunity to come out to one of these, it's worth it to try. I mean, their samgyetang is so good. And uh, like I said, I'm, right now I'm at the Kimpo location. It's my first time here. I usually go to a couple of the uh, locations in Incheon, but well worth the trip. I had to drive about 20 minutes out of my way to get here, but well worth my trip for my palate and my stomach, and hopefully well worth it for you to see as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to the channel as well so you're up to date the next time I update a new video for you. Thanks for watching till the end.